Okay, everybody, we are now in bonus segment number nine, number nine, number nine of Alex's birthday special, in which it's time to play Jeopardy for the PlayStation. Now, if you can recall when I did my birthday special for Hunter Dillon, we played this game, and at one point we did hear Alex say, that is incorrect. Might we hear him say it again this game? I don't know. Let's find out. Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Okay, so one person, two computer contestants then. Okay. Here we go. Clear my name. Player one, what's I'll your name? Clear the number one there and put in my name. Yep, this is part of Alex Paris's birthday special. This is the bonus segment. We're in the bonus segments, and this is the ninth bonus segment that we're doing as part of his belated birthday special. How many bonus segments in total are we doing? 23. Because that is Alex's age. We're ready to play the game now. And also, for each time I give an incorrect response or a computer player gives an incorrect response, that money that is lost goes straight to Whammy Incorporated. Welcome to Jeopardy. Have fun and good luck to all of you. Thank you. We're ready. I bet you can't wait to see the categories. Well, here they are. The Supreme Court. Women in History, Smithsonian TV Props, Broadway Songs, Celebrities Speak, Far Away. Player One, you get us going. Broadway Songs 100. In Paint Your Wagon, the rain is Tess, the fire is Joe, and they call the wind this. What is Maria? Player One. That's it. You're off to a great start. I'll take Broadway songs for 200. All right, pick again. In a Jerry Herman song, this woman's name follows You Charm the Husk Right Off of the Corn. Who is Mame? Player one. Correct. Uh, Broadway songs right, for 300, please. Track down this murderer is sung near the end of this Andrew Lloyd Webber music. What is Phantom of the Opera? Player one. Yes, indeed. I'll take a Broadway music. Broadway songs rather than 400, please. Excuse me. According to a song from Annie, you're never fully dressed without one of these. What's a smile? Player one. You are correct. Uh, Broadway Songs right, 5. Again. In a chorus line, they're the first three words of what I did for love. What is kiss today goodbye? Correct. Celebrity right, speak 100, it. please. When an actress asked what her best side was, this lifeboat director said, My dear, you're sitting on Who's Alfred Hitchcock? Player one. Correct. Celebrity speak for two. 
All right, pick again. Sam Goldwyn reportedly said a producer shouldn't get these stomach disorders. He should give them. What are ulcers? Layer one. Yes, indeed. Celebrity speak for 300. All right, pick again. Answer. All right. Layer one. Two double. Please make your wager. Howard Hughes said of this movie star, his ears made him look like a taxi cab with both doors open. Who's Clark Gable? Layer one. Right you are. Somebody speak 400. All right, pick again. When she won an Oscar for Tootsie, she was grateful to have Dustin Hoffman as my leading lady. Who's Jessica Lange? Layer one. Yes. Somebody All right, speak for 500, please. Woody Allen said, it's not that I'm afraid to do this, I just don't want to be there when it happens. What is die? Layer one. You are correct. Far away for a hundred. All right, pick again. Callao, the port of Lima, handles about three quarters of this country's import. What is Peru? Layer one. That's it. Uh, far away for two. All right, pick again. Venice is known as the queen of this sea. What is the Adriatic? Layer one. Yes. Far away for three. All right, pick again. This administrative capital of South Africa was the capital of the former province of Transvaal. Layer one. Oh, this administrative capital of South Africa. What is Pretoria? Yes. Far away for four. All right, pick again. Much of this range that begins in the Arctic and divides Asia and Europe is less than 1,000 meters in height. What are the Ural Layer Mountains? One. Or what is the Urals? Correct. There we go. Good thing I changed my response. Gilbertese, a Micronesian language, is widely spoken in Kiribati, an island country in this ocean. What is the Pacific? Layer one. Now we three categories I ran with no problems. That's correct. We're gonna go with Smithsonian TV props 100. Right, pick again. A hand phaser from the 60s science fiction series is there. Hope it's set on stun. What is Star Trek? Layer one. Yes. Uh, let's have Smithsonian TV props right, for two. Again. Her charwoman costume is on display. Who's Carol Burnett? Layer one. Right you are. Smithsonian right, TV props 300. A seltzer bottle used by this howdy doody clown is part of the collection. Who's Clarabelle? Layer one. Does Clarabelle have an E at the end? That's it. Yep. Smithsonian TV right, props 400. The museum has a pith helmet and a safari jacket worn by this mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom star. There's more than Perkins. Layer one. That's it. Building up a big lead. How about Smithsonian TV props 500? All right, pick again. A Detroit Tigers baseball cap and a Hawaiian shirt came from this show. What is Magnum PI? Yeah. You 
You are correct. All right, thank you. Supreme again. Court 100. This Chief Justice chaired the commission that investigated the assassination of JFK. Who's Earl Anyone? Warren? Yes. Supreme Court 200. All right, pick again. Before Bush appointed him to the court, he was Assistant Secretary of Education for Civil Rights. Player two. Clarence Thomas. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's your turn, player two. Now it's women in history for a hundred. In his general history, Captain John Smith said he would have been killed if not for her. Who is Geronimo Arapaho Navajo? Pocahontas. Who is Pocahontas? Right you are. Women in history for 200. Player one, your turn. She married Napoleon after her first husband was guillotined during France's reign of terror. Who is uh, Josephine? That's it, exactly. Could we have women in history for 300? Right, again. In 1922, she broke a women's shooting record by smashing 100 clay targets in a row. Player one? Um... I'm going to say, who is Annie Oakley? Nope, she has an E in her last name. Let's get it on there. That's correct. Women in History 400, please. All right, pick again. During the 1980s, she headed two cabinet departments, transportation and labor. Who is Elizabeth Dole? That's correct. Women in History for 500. All right, pick again. Of the four people hanged in connection with the Lincoln assassination, she was the only woman. Player three. Mary Surratt. Right you are. Mm-hmm. Contestant three, it's your turn. All right, we have three clues left and they're all in the Supreme Court. Among associate justices, office assignments, seating on the bench, etc., are determined by this. Player three. Seniority. To be sure. Mm -hmm. All right, pick again. The son of an Italian immigrant, in 1986, he became the first Catholic appointed since Brennan in 1956. Player three. Answer then, Scalia. Correct. Mm -hmm. Double last clip. And to finish the board. The court struck down this type of tax in Pollock versus Farmers Loan and Trust Company in 1895. Player three. The income tax. Right you are. All right, that's the end. So no the incorrect round. responses were given that that's round. Total so, so I'm in the lead with $8,600. Player three has $1,700. Player two is in last place with $200. So player two will go first in double jeopardy, which we're fixing to start very shortly. All right, players, get ready for double Jeopardy. So anytime any one of us buzzed in in the Jeopardy round, no incorrect responses were given. Let's see if we can keep the momentum up in double Jeopardy, in which we have do dollar values are now doubled, and then there's two daily doubles on the board. One of them is a video daily double. Let's see if the categories will be to my liking as Let's well. Let's see if you like these Although categories player two goes in the first. double Jeopardy round. Here we go. Plants and trees. Heraldry. The Emmys. Theater, modern, history, okay. A in geography. Notice the letter A in quotation Player two, you go first. Here we go on player two. We're going to modern history for 200. Soon after taking office in 1981, this president lifted the grain embargo on the Soviet Union. Who's Ronald Reagan? Player one. I'm going to put that in... Exactly. I'll take modern history for 400. Player one, what'll it be? Answer. Oh! I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm gonna make it a true deal the double. In October 1957, she became the first British monarch to open Canada's parliament. Who is Queen Elizabeth? Or 
precise, please. The second? Correct. Right. Modern history 600? In 1985, researchers from Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute located the wreckage of this liner. What is the Titanic? Layer one. That's right. Modern history 800? All right, pick again. In 1928, Ataturk removed the constitutional provision that named this Turkey's state religion. Mm -mm. Here is the correct Oh, story. Islam, okay. Modern history 1000? All right, pick again. In 1965, President Johnson sent 20,000 U.S. troops to this country, Haiti's neighbor. What is the Dominican Republic? You are correct. A in geography for 200. This country in southwestern Asia has two official languages, Pashto and Dari, a dialect of Persian. What is Afghanistan? One. To be sure. Uh, a in geography 400, please. Right, pick again. This Canadian province's motto is Fortis et Liber. Strong and free. What is Alberta? Layer one. Oh, oh, oh! Yes, indeed. Oh, they took it. They took it. It's okay. All right. Pick and it geography up. for six hundred, please. Continent on which you would find the Filcher ice shelf. Despite the fact I put a space Layer between one. Albert and A, they still took it. What is Antarctica? That's it. I'd like A in geography for eight hundred. Right, pick again. Name shared by a former capital of Guatemala and the Caribbean island near Barbuda. What is Antigua? Layer one. That's right. You're building up a big lead. And geography 1000. All right, pick again. The National Library of Turkey is in this city. What is Ankara? Layer one. No. Nope. Why, yes. All right, pick again. Um, let me have the Emmys for 200. The answer is a video. Oh! Player one. I think we'll do it again. In 1995, he won an Emmy for playing Frasier Crane. Who was Kelsey Grammer? Take a look at your monitor. So Alex is about to get 44,000. Four hundred dollars, and Frasier is one of my favorite television shows, by the way, too. Player one. Who is Kelsey Grammer? Correct. The Emmy's four hundred. This singer earned a 1995 Emmy nomination for appearing on ER opposite her nephew George. Who is Rosemary Player Clooney? One. We need an E in there. Correct. Oh, let's have the Emmys All for right, 600, please. After five Emmys, this Murphy Brown star took herself out of the running for 1996 to give others a chance. Who is Candace Bergen? Everyone? Correct. The Emmys for eight. All right, pick again. Michael Lembeck won a 1996 Directing Emmy for this sitcom's The One After the Super Bowl episode. What is Friends? To be sure. The, uh, the Emmys for 1000? Right, pick again. In 1991, Emmys went to Patricia Wettig and Timothy Busfield, who played couple Nancy and Elliot on this show. Now, here is the correct. Oh, 30 something. Okay. That's all right. All right. Thank you. Heraldry 200. Purpure is the heraldic term for this color. What is purple? Layer one. Right, you are. I'll take uh, Heraldry for 400, please. All right. Thank you. Used to represent a third son, a mullet is one of these symbols. 
often having five points. What's a star? Player one. To be sure. Heraldic for 600. A heraldic bird that appears to be doing this is described as volant. What is flying? Player one. You are correct. I'll take care of Victor 800, again. please. This fur worn by royalty is represented by black tails on a white or silver ground. What is ermine? Player one. That's right. Uh huh. Carol's uh, 1000, please. The Lord Lion King of Arms is the chief herald of this United Kingdom country. What is Scotland? Player one. Pretty sure that's right. Need an L in there. To be sure. Yes. All right. Make it Plants and trees, two hundred. The name of this narcissus comes from the Middle English daffodil. What is daffodil? Player one. Right you are. Plants and trees, 400. All right, pick again. This boutonniere flower, also known as a clove pink, due to its fragrance, is number two in commercial value in the U.S. Oh, that's a pink clo clove yeah, pink. I'm going to say what is a carnation. It's got to be. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. Right you are. Yeah! All right, pick again. Plants and trees for 600. This aquatic plant of the Middle East is also called the paper plant. Player one. I'm gonna say it was papyrus. Oh, uh, let's go. Yes, indeed. Oh yeah. All right, pick again. Plants and trees, 800. This alligator pear tree is a member of the laurel family. What is the avocado? Player one. No, not Avon. Avocado. Correct. Plants and trees, right, 1,000. The ponderosa, or western yellow species of this tree, lives up to 500 years. I'll pass this one. Player three. Is it the pine tree? Right you are. Okay. I would have said the oak what tree, so three? good thing that stayed put. Theater 200. Andrew Lloyd Webber's first musical tells of this biblical hero and his amazing technicolor dream coat. Who is Joseph? Player one. That's correct. Theater 400. Player one, you choose. Herschel Bernardi played this title Greek in a musical based on a Nikos Kazantzakis novel. Who is Zorba? Player one. No, not Zorro. Zor. But. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. All right. Six. Again. James Earl Jones starred on the Great White Way in this drama set in the world of boxing. What is the Great White Hole? Player one. Make sure we're pushing the right buttons. Go that way. No, not the Great Wall. The Great White. Oh, you are correct. Eight hundred. All right, pick again. Not a lot of money right now. Tennessee Williams turned his unproduced screenplay, The Gentleman Caller, into this play. What is the Glass Menagerie? Wow. That's it, exactly. Now the last clip. And to finish the board. Each act of this Beckett play ends with one of the two tramps saying, yes, let's go. But they never move. What is waiting for Godot? And even though there were two clues where nobody buzzed in, nobody gave any incorrect responses. 
That's correct. Let's see what happens in Final Jeopardy. All right, that brings us to the end of the Double Jeopardy round. Right now, I have $54,200. Player three moved up to $2,700. Player two, we never heard from this round, staying at $200. Here we go. This is a no-brainer, unless somebody does something foolish. Which I will not do. So how can we get a big payday this game? Now here's our final Jeopardy category. Columnists. Okay. Player two, your wager, please. Player three, we have your wager, please. You know what? I'm going to take a chance on this and go 45800 Please make your wager. I'll take that chance, and here we go. Lock it in. All right, here's the answer. Good luck. In 1955, she began her advice column by assuming the pen name of a colonist who had just died. No, not Dear Abby. I'm saying who is Ann Landers. And I will lock that in. Let's see how everyone did. Here we go. Thanks, Johnny. Is Alex about to get $100,000? Player two, your question. Player two said... Sorry, that's in Not Hens from Heloise. Let's see how much it cost you. It'll cost you all $200, so... Oh, I guess it's just not your day. No, I guess not. Your question, player three. No, I'm sorry. That hits from Halloween. What's that going to cost you? It costs you everything. You dropped nothing. Sometimes you get a tough one. I came up with Ann Landers. Player one, let's take a look at your question. That's right. Mm-hmm. No wager wise. So Alex gets one hundred thousand dollars this game. You're in the lead. Take a look at that number there. One hundred thousand dollars. Great game. Congratulations, player one. You're the Jeopardy champion. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Hope you had a good time. So long, everybody. Yes, I did. And we will wrap it up for this segment. And I will see you all for that next bonus segment right after this.